Thank you, Marco, uh, for inviting me. Um, yes, I'm going to tell you about Oxenato, which is a, a business I founded uh, earlier last year. Uh, we've been actually uh, online with our auctions uh, since May 3rd. And uh, our model is very simple. Basically, a marketplace, but we take uh, physical possession of all the goods we handle. We cater both uh, sellers and buyers. Uh, and we sell uh, fine works of art, we sell jewelry, we sell wine, uh, we sell basically everything that's uh, in the fine art market. Um, our average price in the premium sector is 12,000 euro per item. We currently have a sell-through rate of 81%, and we take sellers' commission from both buyers and sellers, 20% each. Current net revenue consequently stands around 30%. Um, the market we cater is basically the fine art market, the top four players in this market, Sotheby's, Christie's, Bonhams and Philips, do 18 billion in GMV. Um, since we started, we are currently on a run rate of around 55 million euro in GMV uh, and uh, growth extrapolated uh, turns in around 160 million for the next coming year. The way we calculate run rate is a bit different since we have only one item per SKU. We only have unique items. We uh, track sourcing. And from there, we take our performance over auction estimate and sell through rate. And that turns this kind of revenue. So we basically um, also hold the current world record for the most expensive work of art ever sold online on June 21 with a painting by Egon Schiele which was $2.5 million, and we will sell an original Van Gogh in our live streaming auction uh, later this month, which has an estimate of 180000 but is expected to sell for significantly more money. Also interesting for, uh, uh, to see is December 13, we will sell uh, a Patek Philippe watch uh, previously owned by John Lennon. Um, supposed to do a world record as well. There should be a video coming here. I'm not sure if the director is able to start it. Herzlich yes. willkommen, liebe Zuschauer bei Auktionata. Herzlich willkommen hier zu unserer Versteigerung. 650, 700, 800, 850 Euro, 900 Euro. Anita ist unterlegen. Andreas ist Höchstbieter. 2000 Euro. Patrick, der hier noch mit sich ringt. 340 Euro und 380 Euro. 550 Euro. 600 Euro aktuell. 9000. Das ist ein absolutes Highlight. 10.000 Euro überboten. Peter erhöht auf 15.000 Euro. 2000 Euro. Das ist ein sehr schönes Schmuckstück. 5000 Euro. Ein Bieterduell. Wir stehen bei 7000 Euro. 400, 500, 600 Euro, 850, 900, 1000, 2000, 2000, 200, 11,000, USD 28, yes, 30,000 Euro, 45,000, 50,000 Euro, hat man das so getragen, 240 Euro, das hat man exakt so getragen, das war der edel Look, 500, 750, 800, 950 aus New York, Ich zähle es an. 2400 zum ersten. 1800, 1900, 2000, 3600 sind geboten. 5500, 6000 Euro. 30.800 Euro. 45.000, 60.000. It is phenomenal. 240.000 Euro sold to a bidder on the telephone. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Every Friday at uh, 6 p.m. We basically have these auctions and with lots of different things. As you have seen, there's not much to tell about the product. You've basically seen everything from the user perspective. The interesting, from the technical point of view that we had to crack, is that uh, the live stream you're seeing has to come in real time because most people actually bid when the hammer is going down, not sooner than that. And if the image comes one or two seconds late, they wouldn't be able to do it. As a consequence, we had to develop a HD broadcast that we currently run from our own television studio in Berlin. Um, that comes within less than one second. And as of today, we're the only business on the planet that is able to send such a broadcast. It took us about four and a half years to develop the technology uh, that currently runs Auctionata, and yes, since then we have grown significantly. Uh, we also 
uh, run a number of partnerships. One of the lead sponsors here, Corona24, at least by this bag here, we just did the first watch auction with them together last Friday. We had 25 watches, out of which we sold 20 for a total of $1.1 million. And we expect to do another 52 auctions with them next year. Same for Ruby Lane, Artspace, and we're currently negotiating a number more similar partnerships. Um, yeah, just a quick shot on financials. It's a bit outdated. It still has 12.7 for this year's current, currently going to be around something around 20 million, and obviously next year significantly more than that. And that's, by the way, just for the German market. Mind you that although we sell globally, we have never less than 35 different countries in our bidding audience and up to 81, which was the maximum so far. But we source most of our merchandise, 80% within a circle of 250 kilometers from Berlin. And we're just building the American auction room as we speak. Where is it going? We built the Internet Live Auction as a consequence. We want to own the category, if possible, for many years to come. We all know that the global art auction market is moving online, yet there's no business that is able to sell high-end auction items strictly online. We operate exactly the same business model as Sotheby's and Christie's. We just took out three things of the equation. We do not print any catalogs. We do not exhibit anything and we have no physical auction room. So it's basically everything online. And the story behind that is we want to own a significant part of the online art market. Now, we know the total art market is 43 billion, and probably within the next five years, 20% of that will be online, and we hope to have a significant part of it. That is our vision. Oh. I was a bit fast, there's still two minutes left. Uh, maybe just a short story from Marco. Um, it's actually the first time I am at NOAA, but my wife was here at the first conference, and actually the funding deal for Auctionata, the initiate funding deal, was done at this very conference. Very, very early stage, Holzbring got 20% for an amount I cannot share with you, otherwise I have to kill myself. <laughs> but that's how it started, and so, Thank you very much, Marco, and thank you for your time.